I have a unique connection to this film and to the story. Um, I had the privilege of serving with 3rd Battalion, 5th Special Forces Group in uh, November of 2001 in Mazari Sharif, Afghanistan. Um, I was at Central Command at the time and I was sent over, even though I'm a Marine, they sent me over to, to join up with these guys and I ended up working on the command element uh, for Lieutenant Colonel Max Bowers. So for a while there, uh, Colonel Bowers was my boss. I was a young captain at the time and uh, uh, like I said, I had the privilege of working with this outstanding unit and uh, uh, helping in whatever way I could with their mission uh, on the ground once we were in Masri Sharif. Now I didn't, I wasn't a gunslinger like these guys, but um, uh, it was a privilege to serve with them nonetheless. So now it's kind of interesting because I've come full circle in the sense that uh, I'm playing my old boss. Uh, and it's not very often you get to play your, your old boss from 15 years ago uh, on the big screen. So it was, it was quite an honor. I was thrilled because um, I, I knew of the story. I read Doug's book. Uh, I thought very highly of it. I'm, I'm intimately familiar with the story because, uh, like I said, I got there about, you know, a month after they had completed their mission. So I got to meet a lot of the guys in person uh, and hear the stories firsthand from them. So I felt like I was connected to the unit. So when I got the call, I was thrilled to death. Not to mention I retired in real life uh, as a lieutenant colonel. Uh, and so to... to Play a lieutenant colonel on screen seemed uh, pretty cool. Most of my scenes, if not all of them, have been with uh, Michael Shannon and Chris Helmsworth, and amazing guys. Uh, fun individuals that you, you enjoy hanging out, having a conversation with, and then such a joy to watch them act, watch them work, um, watch them how much they care. That's very inspiring. Uh, they really do care. They want to get it right. They want to get the dialogue right. They want to get the words and they want to get the emotion. Uh, and they take the time to do it right. And it's been a pleasure to watch that. And I know it's going to mean a lot to the, uh, to the men who served over there. This is an important story to tell because it shows America's capability and our ability to react, um, to, to seize the initiative, to take action. These guys are training all year. When you're sleeping right now, tonight, wherever you are, you're, you're going to go to bed tonight, know that there's somebody out there training and preparing for that worst-case scenario. And when that worst-case scenario happens, these guys are ready. They're ready to go. You don't have to spend months or years training. They're ready now. And their professionalism and the fact that they take their mission and they say goodbye to their families and they go over and they risk life and limb for us.